Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery. Over there is Dawn. Hello. Today is all about triangles. Look at these beauties all in a row. Isn't that cool? I love it. So this is what we're going to be working on. I liked this design. Um, the color scheme, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I used a uh, jelly roll, leftovers from a jelly roll. Today, I'm going to completely change the color scheme. So uh, keep watching and we're going to stitch this baby out. Desk. So I love the triangles, but first, before we get into what we're doing today, I wanted to give you guys some updates. So this is the B quilt that I have been working on, and this is my progress so far. So it's um, hexagons and triangles, and it's looking pretty good. I got quite a few of them done, and I'm liking how it turns out. I do love this fabric. So this is coming along just fine. I will be doing videos on how I sewed everything together. So you guys, if you want to try this project, you can. And then of course we're going to do the house one too, because it's so cute, but I'm liking this. I think it's uh, really nice. I can't wait to put embroidery on it. Yeah. Okay. So now for I'm going to have to reveal my colors because it's underneath my clear blue tiles. So, blah, there we go. Bring it down a bit further so you guys can see it. We're doing fire, fire triangles. Fiery Halloween. Yep, fiery yes. Halloween. So we'll it. talk about that in a minute. And I just realized I forgot something for it, but okay. I didn't uh, pull any... Uh, uh Padding? yeah that's the word the yeah <laughs> just totally blanked out there no, Woo! Okay. Woo! <laughs> it's that, saturday morning uh, uh maybe it was a tough day yesterday so clear blue tiles i finally got them i'm so happy just a quick look we are going to be working with these and i want to show you guys how great they are but just a quick look as to what's in the box so you get two pens and you get these slat bands, which are for holding the rest of your quilt in, which I think is a brilliant idea. And you get a literal ton of the clear blue tiles. So this is what they are. And you can see, I didn't grab the right one, but you can see this is how it works. So you're gonna do your center and if you need to do your lines right there and you can put the size so if you're doing a whole quilt with different sizes then you know which design to grab the correct one and that's what they are and they are every size configuration you can think of and it's really cool it's gonna make the um quilting in the hoop so much easier and they're they're pretty nice. I, I got the extension pack as well because I want to do the big, 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 big hoop. I didn't check to see if it was there. The other thing that I really like about it, and it's something that can prove to be a little difficult. Look at this. Look at this. That? Well, it's for like, if I wanted to if I wanted to, this is a perfect example, if I wanted to put this here. Well, nice. And then you know where the middle is. Handy. Yeah, isn't that cool? cool? I'm like, and there's a whole bunch of these in every size you can imagine. So literally everyone needs to watch out because you can quilt anything. So 
with these clear blue tiles. It's awesome. Now it comes with about 400 designs. So every size here and every make, it comes with um, a really nice book that shows you exactly precisely what to do and you get this little pattern here for free too so it's uh pretty cool pretty cool i think it's going to make things a lot easier so i haven't used them yet i will save that for a vlog video and there we go but i just wanted to show you guys that i got them so i'll be uh, i'll be doing another panel so they're they're pretty cool um, I've also spoken to Lynn and Lynn it really wants to learn the luminaire just for fun. So she said yes to coming over. Arlen. 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 And what we're going to do with Lynn is that we are going to work through the Bella box that I got. Um, which I think will be perfect for her. There's bookmarks, there's tea towels, a whole bunch of things. So I think it'll be fun for her. Lots of embellishments and stuff. And she can learn the limit, learn, learn the luminaire. So that's what it's called too, is, uh, Lynn learns the luminaire or learning the luminaire with Lynn. But I like the first one better. Learn with Lynn with the luminaire? Learn, Lynn learns the luminaire. There's too many L's in there. Uh, well, no, that was the point of it. <laughs> Lynn says, woot, 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 yay me. <laughs> nice, nice, Lynn. More enthusiasm, Lynn. The more enthusiasm. I think that was, uh, I think that was pretty good. So head on over to omlembroidery.com and get your pattern. This is block eight of the uh, block of the month and each um, month has a different shape that we're going to do we call it meep um, we also need a quilting with Lynn yep I'll work on it just one thing at a time you can't throw too much at Lynn or she'll <laughs> throw in the bucket kick the bucket say nope 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 um, they they're all meant to go together and they're all meant to look like English paper piecing but machine embroidered english piece paper piecing and that's the meep we've seen a lot of nice quilts that people have made with the previous i know already. it looks good yeah. it looks really good and you can use these blocks in any design now i changed this one up just a little bit i made five by seven six by six and eight by eight so everyone can do this for sure Ah, thank you, Misha. Misha put the um, link up. So yeah, head on over there. Remember, everything you buy from omlembroidery.com, I turn it back into the channel. It's to support the channel. And I buy like the clear blue tiles and show you guys how to use them and uh, make amazing creations. And also stuff like this quilting, which is going to expand your skills both sewing the quilt top and then we're going to quilt the quilt top and i think it's going to be awesome the commercials down too well yeah that was the trade-off so keep keep getting the stuff guys we really need to you know keep this going so don if you wouldn't mind um i guess go to the machine and then i need a piece of batting please so go to the machine I can go to the machine, but I'm locked in here. I'm going to move it. I locked it. No, it's fine. I yeah. I just need it. So we're on the machine? You're on the machine. Okay, yeah, so I, I have an 8x8 hoop. I'm going to do the largest one because I thought, yay, why not? I kind of have like maybe a half of a uh, bobbin in there, and I'm going to use one color. That's another thing I'm going to do differently. So our first step is placement. Placement for the batting. Uh, this is a quilt block after all. So yeah. Now one thing about these meat blocks. Uh, what size do we? Um, well, eight by eight basically. No, I, I could have done that. Hurry up, Don, please. Well, I'm gonna pack it on. He's just getting it for me. Sorry. Sorry. 
just cut a piece, please. Alright, he's coming. He just doesn't know where to cut it from, so he's all nervous. Yeah, probably cutting it from something I shouldn't be. <laughs> well, well, I can always sew it together. So, anyways, as I was saying, the way that they come together, it leaves a lot of... That should work. Thank you. <laughs> it leaves a lot of room for customization. So, which is cool, because you can do the colors, the fabric colors for the paper pieces in just about any way that you want. So for this one, it's three rows of triangles. So you can put, do each triangle separately. So if you have scraps that are round about the right size, you can make it scrappy triangles. You could use jelly, jelly roll strips, which is what I used in my first one. And uh, that was really convenient to do. Or you can put one piece down, just one whole piece down, stitch out all the triangles, and then trim. So also the fun part is the triangles in between, the, the space in between is also a triangle. So it looks like you did all of this applique triangles when you're only doing three rows. So it's kind of a clever way of doing it. So you can work with what you have and design this how exactly how you want to. So it's kind of cool for that. I kind of like it. So we are going to go back to the desk, Dawn, and I am going to trim this. Just do that. And I would say quickly, but I'm going to try to have a really good trimming day today. And I'm using my duck build scissors incorrectly, straight up. So let's do it correctly. How's that? We want but it the... wouldn't be your way if it wasn't incorrect. Well, I don't want my scissors to poke into the stabilizer. I know. I actually understand why you do it. Because when I was doing applique, I did the same thing for the same reason. Yeah, well, yeah. use them how they're supposed to be known. There we go. Little snips for this awesome so i'm a little off there but you don't have to worry about that part because we're going to be putting our fire fabric over it so and i'm really going to take my time trimming the triangles um because even though it's supposed to be a hand stitched look i just want it to be neat and tidy so that looks good and Let's put our background on, and then we're going to go stitch it down. I love that fabric. Yeah, it's kind of groovy, huh? Mm -hmm. I only have one more little piece of it, so... And your other colors that match it so perfectly. Back to the machine. There we go. So now we're going to stitch this down. I'm just going to flatten it. The static electricity kind of holds it down. So first step, placement. Second step, batting third step fabric and then we're gonna get to the fun stuff so I like this yeah and my fabric does match pretty well I'm kind of happy about that so this is a triangle fire and I think if I was making a quilt out of this I would do each block like this and then I would add um, solid colors for the quilting blocks because I think that would look really cool. Oh, I'm almost going to sneeze. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. Oh, I did. Placement is our next thing. So we're, do we're on the triangles already. And I'm going to do this one color, although it really looks beautiful when you mix the colors as well uh, quite enjoyable so just big old triangles Isabel thank you love the colors you picked well I like to do something normal and then something soup <laughs> so the other one is absolutely beautiful but I think this one's gonna be like totally amazing 
So that's our placement. So one, two, three, four triangles. And place my fabric over. And no chicken today. No chicken? No chicken. No chicken. So I'm going to make sure. Oh, I got tons. You know, I say that and then I'm going to mess it up, right? <laughs> All right. Let's stitch this down. So this is our tack down stitches and no zigzag stitches because we're doing a very delicate stitch on the outside. So we don't, we don't want all that thread. If you're using the same color, it's not a worry, but it, it can sometimes show through. So yeah, I love it. Love it. So then we have a little bit of quilting stitches on the inside of each triangle. So, Don, are there any questions? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So it's going to stop here now. For the inside quilting stitches, you can change your color. And uh, contrasting color looks really good. I'm going to stick with my black because I think that's going to give it an overall you know, really groovy look. Um, the other one I did change colors. The purpley one, colors were changed. And it looked great. Beautiful. Kind of a triangle in a triangle. Isn't that cool? Colors are looking great. Good morning <coughs> to everybody I'm, I'm seeing here. Everyone's having... Um, a chat, which is nice. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so it's telling me and it's going to move towards the next row. So we're going to take this uh, to the desk, please, Don. Okay. The desk is up. Thank and you. Thank you, VLF Sun. VLF Sun. Ooh, thank you very much. Love this block. Now, after it did the placement, yeah. the tack down stitches, you could have done the trimming. I just let it do the rest of it. So, because I was using the same colors. So, either way is perfectly fine. I need. I love that orange on the background. Isn't that pretty? I think it's yellow. It's, it's yellow. it's yellow. Well, it's kind of an it's orangey. An orange so for these ones, it's, it's a good idea to, you know, really practice your trimming skills because, well, you could do it two ways, actually. You could do it kind of messy and it looks a little bit more like hand done, or you could get it really close and uh, neat and tidy. But see how I'm moving the hoop? That is making all the difference. You move the hoop so you, in the way that you're comfortable cutting, because yes, I could cut these all out this way, but it's not going to look as nice. Thank you, Jill. Yay, thank you. Hi, Jill, by the way. Hello, hello. Hello. So, hello. yep, moving everything around. And today is not bad for trimming I got it I got it this is cool um, I really thought this design was fun and different and so many opportunities to change it up and customize it how you want isn't that cool yep it's awesome all right back to the machine and what we're going to do is row two. So what I did on the purple one is I made row one and row three the same and row middle row different. So we'll see how this works out. I know it's so exciting. I'm off to the Doberman National Dog Show. Ooh, that's awesome. For sure. I think the colors look great, Don. Mm -hmm. I was tempted for a minute to put Halloween fabric on the top, but I didn't. That would be cool. It would have been cool. 
So same thing as the first row. We're just going to put the second row on and no applique chicken. So Not today? No. Did you check your bobbin? Yes. You didn't hear me? No, I missed that part. Sorry. I have enough bobbin. So again, I'm keeping the same colors. I just want to do it this way for a look. You could change all the thread colors if you wanted to stop the machine. But for this one, the color stops are just in between the rows. But I thought Scrappy would look really cool, making a, a Scrappy quilt. Um, the 8x8 size is just about right for that. So awesome. So you can trim right now and put it back in for the quilting stitches, but I'm going to go ahead with the quilting stitches because I'm using the same color and these ones are really cool. I like it. So that orange isn't showing up as orange. Oh, it, is, it looks a little lighter in the, when it's zoomed in. Oh. But the full out. Okay. So this is the quilting designs. And I like this. We've got striped triangles. Because why not? Like we it. also have folded fabric going on. Nice. Yeah, I I haven't picked what color I want for that, but I think it might be orange. Maybe. Just on the top of the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I think that'll look really cool too. Nice. So before we go on to the last row, there we go, move it into spot. Let's go back to the dust on. And we're gonna do another round of trimming. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, you like it, do you? I love the colors. Well. They're so bright and I wanna say contrasting, but they're not. No, they kinda are. They go together, but they're awesome. They're bright. They're just bright. Yeah, I kind of, I really like the purpley one that I did. I, I can, love that one too. I can put that back on my desk. And I just used a black fabric for the background and um, jelly rolls. Just pieces of jelly rolls. I had to piece it all together. It's quite handy. Well, it, it still looks good, but yeah, super handy. You don't have to... Um, you don't have to cut anything up if you use jelly rolls and this isn't very big so keep your jelly roll scraps and make a whole bunch of these and that'll use it up lovely i just thought it was um cool that way there now am i off there yes i'm a little bit off now this would also look good if you alternated the the color so you did like a yellow triangle and then an orange and yellow and orange all in the same line you could but you'd have to stop the machine there's no color stops for it right but you could just on the tack down easy enough yep yeah, it would look cool. yep anything I goes don't know which way i would like more because this is really good <laughs> okay let's go back to the machine and we're going to do row number three See, another thing about these um, Meep quilts is that they stitch out very efficiently. So you can really get a lot done. So remember on this one, you could do scrappy pieces, put them all down. You could do jelly roll rows, or you could put one piece of fabric, like say a layer cake piece down for all the triangles and then trim them out. It's easy enough. And I think it would look great either way. But that's what I mean that I try to make it as uh, creative, easily creative for you guys. All right, now we're doing the red. So no chicken, no chicken for you. There we go. And this is the last row. And then we've got some uh, folded fabric to do. Beautiful <laughs> colors though. 
But yeah, I thought of a Christmas this morning and I was picking my fabric. Christmas, Halloween colors, um, you know, the color of a kid's room, you could match it all with all of the meat designs. I think that would look great. It would. Machine embroidered English paper piecing. They're saying it reminds them of the Your color choices are. Well, it does, doesn't it? That's a happy accident, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so now the quilting stitches. <laughs> what? Nisha says the block's very YouTube friendly and all these play buttons. <laughs> Uh, yeah, was that a hint, maybe? <laughs> it could possibly be. Make sure you like and subscribe, please. We want to keep this going. I got big plans for all of us. Of yep. Uh, people are liking the vlog, which is awesome. And I think everyone's looking forward to a little basic sewing session. Classes. Nice. Just, just basic. And there we go. I think it looks, that choice is also a block and you can make it into your block, how you like it and what you think looks, you know, colors and stuff. It's also great for experimenting and coming up with, you know, your plan of action, I guess, <laughs> for the color scheme it's fast to do so it would be easy to you know just whip one off I think it would be cool for this if I was making it into a quilt um, I would make these blocks like this maybe turn them but in between I would put the quilting blocks and it would be one of these blocks a yellow block uh, one of these blocks, an orange quilting block. That's how I would do. I don't think I have enough of this specific fabric. However, it kind of it kind of makes me think. No, 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 I saw your fabric stash on the shelves in your suit camp there. Oh, I finally got it. Did anyone notice that, by the way? In the suit cam shot, I have a lot of my fabric put away now, so you guys can see it in the beginning just saying okay so you could leave it like this now of course we're gonna finish off the edges or we can add the folded fabric so reds that would look good. I'm, I'm thinking orange would kind of pull it together a bit more that would look good. but yellow that would look good. Orange. yeah I think I, I like orange, orange. I kind of all good choices though but like I said, you can just leave it like this if you want. But look at the uh, negative or uh, negative negative triangles right here. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. You kind of get it like a different look of it. I I like it. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly not iron and cut this up because lo and behold, don't be surprised. But I forgot that too. Well. <laughs> How about the black? Oh. I'm set on. Oh, for sure. Okay. Folded fabric. You and now we're going to go to the top. And you will place everything properly. So, yeah. Are we still having troubles? Refreshed and still yeah, no. buffering. All right. Yeah, they, you know. <laughs> That's okay. Hopefully the replay doesn't have all those gaps in it. So what I mean about remembering what you're doing, you're folding the fabric that way. So we want it face down and just kind of below the line because we're going to fold it and hold it. So there we go. That should be fine. So let's stitch it down. So always remember face down because you're going to be folding it back. So this is going to stitch a straight line just back and forth. That's usually your indication that you're doing folded fabric. 
and that's come along pretty well. Nice. Yeah. I think the black's going to look fantastic. Oh, awesome. And then the next step in folded fabric is, wait for it, fold your fabric. There we go. And you can do this depending on your type of fabric. This is pretty thick twill. So I can just make a nice enough crease and it's good. See how nice and flat it is? Then stitch it down. You could use tape if you needed to. A little bit of uh, sticky spray. Uh, but you do have to be careful with the sticky spray. You don't want to spray that near your machine. Your machine will not like you anymore. So that looks good. Like we'll trim so this up after. Remember, we always have to leave a seam allowance. So, number two. Number two. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So, this time, we're going to be putting the fabric just kind of above the line, face down. I know you can't tell with this one, but that's okay. So, the line I'm looking at is the top. So, it's going to stitch it down. And then we are going to fold it. Fold it. So the other cool thing is we're going to do, after this, we're going to do the covering stitches, the fancy stitches that I normally do. And each row is different. So you can, you know, you could do, on this one you could do orange yellow and red and match them up or you could move the rows around so you could do the yellow one you could do red and the orange one you could do yellow sort of thing mix the same colors but just mixed up a little bit i think that would look awesome um you could stop your machine and literally do one of everything if you wanted to that'll take a little more time but that's okay look at that huh perfect nice thick fabric that folds gorgeously all right now it's all going to come together so you can see on the triangles using a contrasting color looks great so if i were gonna do the outside in colors that matte, that is gonna but you can kind of picture it with yellow It'll kind of blend in. I I even thought of like a, um, a glow in the dark for it. All right, are we gonna mess things up by putting this on? We haven't we haven't had a close up view, a close mega close view yet this video. There you go, mega close. There you go. Now you can see. That is still the coolest thing ever, isn't it? Doesn't that look good? That is precision. I'll be using this for the sewing classes, the basic sewing classes. So I think yellow would look really good too. I love how the black is just making everything, like bringing it together, but it, it stands out so much on the yellow. I think that's awesome. Now, the corners, by the way, are meant to go over the folded fabric a little bit. So the corners of the triangles go over the folded fabric a little bit. That wasn't like I'm a over, and I thought it would look good. Well, yeah, you and too. It makes them look like they pop in. Kind of, yeah. Just ever so slightly. Probably no one would, even though it's, it is YouTube. It's a very. Actually, Alicia did. Thank you, Alicia. Which is kind of change threads. Uh, so it's not doing anything. Kind of. And now it's doing it again. Uh, thanks, YouTube, for nothing. Uh, fortunately... Well, and happy music. I think this is a gorgeous set of triangle. Triangles. I'm just waiting to see if we can pick it up there. It's a little behind. Yeah, there you go. 
What do you guys think? I think a row of these with the black all the way across, I think it would look awesome. I think it would be really awesome. So that's all looks fantastic. This is with jelly rolls. Um, I think it's a great design. It's easy to stitch out and I think it looks really fantastic. Like I said, maybe Christmas stuff, you know, the whole bit. Love the block turns out amazing. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm not happy with YouTube, but what are you going to do? If it's not watchable, I'll redo the end. And so it looks really great and the black makes it really stand out. Yep, that's what I was hoping for. Um, awesome. So, thanks everyone for trying to watch. I hope you guys can still like this video. Thanks, YouTube. Um, and again, if the video doesn't turn out, I'll, uh, redo the end and do it like that and maybe upload it again. I don't know. We'll figure it out for you guys. So, happy stitching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye everyone.